The house was built in 1922, unsure exactly of all its past history. When I was little, I had oftentimes had these dreams where I would wander through my house in the nighttime, trying to find something or perhaps someone. The dream would always end when I find the tall, dark figure nothing but a silhouette standing in the middle of my kitchen exposed by the overhead light over the kitchen sink that hadn't even worked for years before it was always on in that dream though i would wake up sometimes hearing these voices not angry or of any emotional but usually just two to three voices talking mid-sentence of audible English words that were distinguishable but didn't make any sense of much really. Sometimes I would even wake up frozen like I, I couldn't breathe or move but simply lay there with my eyes wide open for a few seconds while still hearing the voices speak briefly. My mother has always experienced things as well as my older sister. My mom hearing a jingle eerie hymn coming from the back of the refrigerator or maybe the pantry late at night sometimes. Things would turn on or off. The year was 2001. I was just eight years old. One night, my mother woke up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. She was frozen in her steps in the hallway when greeted by a deep, hollow, and loud voice right in front of her. That of a man saying slowly and forced out, Don't worry. Everything will be all right. She opened the lights, looked around, and saw nothing. It was a snowy night when she took a look outside. No fresh footprints were seen around the home. She woke my dad up to go investigate the voice, but my dad didn't believe in ghosts or anything of the sort. He came into my room, grabbed my wooden baseball bat, and it woke me up. I worried for my dad and what was happening and wanted to go downstairs. I hadn't heard the voice in the hall. I just stayed awake and listened, but eventually fallen back to sleep. I only heard of this story later on when I was older and had finally knew why my dad came in for my bat. My dad found nothing out of the ordinary. My mom's father had passed away that previous year of a heart attack and my dad and mother were suffering and dying of cancer at this time. My mom seems to think that the message was in reference to those events. Throughout the years, my mom and sister would experience most of which was lights on and off and sometimes an eerie jingle from the kitchen at night. Fast forward to 2018, my parents are divorced and the house has been vacant for two years now, just to be heated during winter months. My wife and I decided to move in to rent from my dad since we were tired of the apartment living. The first night I moved in and was unpacking, I immediately felt a strong presence and didn't feel like being there, almost like unwelcoming and being watched. I couldn't shake the feeling as my wife was working overnights and at the coffee shop and I was alone. The next day is when it started to all happen again. I got up for my morning shift at 4.30 and 
and was brushing my teeth just in the other room. My wife woke up to a voice that said, Earl. She asked me if I had said it and in fact didn't. I was brushing my teeth at the time. I thought to myself, here we go again. But I I didn't tell her that. The next morning, my wife was wide awake watching Netflix on her phone. 4.15 comes around. I snooze the phone. Not long after, we hear this bizarre jingle hymn at the foot of the bed for like 8 to 10 seconds. It was long enough for her to shake me and say my name, and I still heard it. It kind of reminded me of the take me out to the ball game from one of those little teddy bears or something. So terrified, we both threw the lights on and searched the room. There was nothing but boxes of clothes in our room and nothing could have possibly made that sound. We got the house blessed the next day and we hadn't experienced anything too far out after that. Occasionally, a light would work itself, or the stove range fan would turn on by itself. It didn't work when we tried it. There was also another time when me and my wife were both standing right next to each other, and I was getting a phone call from her cell. But she was using her phone, and didn't even show she was calling me. I was too afraid to pick up. But sometimes I wonder, what would have happened if I did pick up? Later on, we got a home, and my sister moved in and had one night experienced a disembodied voice at the end of her bed, just whistling the tune to the TV show she had just finished watching. She had also taken videos and seen several orbs just floating around. I just asked her the other day if she's experienced anything lately and she says that she doesn't anymore. Her and her boyfriend are in a good and happy place in life at the moment and she seems to think that could be why she isn't experiencing weird things anymore. She also told me that she thought that the house was some sort of portal where many spirits would come through. I'm not sure what to think or believe, but after me and my wife both hearing that hymn, it definitely must be something.